button outlines can be used for thicker borders. To change the default settings, open object properties. The stitch spacing and the satin width can be changed. The spacing affects the density of the stitch. To change the spacing, place a dot in front of manual and then enter the value and press apply. If you wish to change the satin width, remember that you can change the value and type in MM after the value if you are in the US measurement system and the software will automatically calculate. For wider satin borders, you can apply Satin Special to add intermediate needle penetrations. This will keep the width of the satin stitch from getting too wide. The offset affects how the satin stitch relates to the original digitized line. The satin stitch is automatically applied to the center of the digitized line, but you can click on offset and then click on apply and the satin edge will be moved. Calligraphy is going to change the slant of a satin stitch. So if I select this narrow bar and click on calligraphy, change the angle and click on apply, you can see that the angle of the satin stitch will change. A raised satin stitch will create layers of satin stitch that get progressively wider to build up a padded satin stitch look. You can vary almost the same properties of this type of stitch as you can a regular satin, but you have an additional control of the number of layers. The number of layers specified will be the number of layers beneath the final cover layer. So for example, with three layers, there's going to be an underlay, three layers of satin stitch, and one cover layer of satin.